You're at the water hub here, which is in Franschhoeke, about 80 kilometers east of Cape Town. And we're on an old abandoned wastewater treatment works. We started to build a vision for how we turn this site into a research and demonstration and teaching training site. And so we've restored that infrastructure and turned them into effectively large constructed wetlands. The water is being fed from an informal settlement which has almost 7,000 people living in it. When there's water that comes into a settlement, you've got to get that water out. If it doesn't go to sewer, it goes on the land, runs off on that land surface and finds its way into the river. So the big challenge is how do we clean water in that way, which is relatively cheap to do, uh, easy to construct the design and relatively easy to manage. And if we can do that, we can roll this same example out in many, many parts of South Africa and across Africa as well. So this is where we pump water up uh, in, from the river into these tanks and we store water here and release it through this pipeline into each one of these tanks. The beauty of this is it's absolutely simple and it's literally a case of opening up these valves and releasing the water into the cells uh, and we are able to control that. We control it too by level sensors on the top of this so I know exactly how much water is in this tank at any one moment from that internet information. So this is one of the biofilters that we have filled with uh, reeds here and it really acts like a constructed wetland. So this is the outlet pipe from one of our cells and what you see in here is the outlet pipe water moves from the cell and eventually down into our pump station which we use to irrigate our gardens. The plants or the nature will never stop teaching us because every day you learn something new. You cannot say that I know everything about the soil. No, because tomorrow as things going and the climate change, so also the nature experience a lot. What I have learned here, yeah, I go back to the community I implement. I am here, I am representing the community. So the community can benefit because the knowledge is power and it also helped me to start my own pig farming. What we need to do is to give people an opportunity that already have skills of agriculture at the water hub uh, in order to practice their skills and to bring back to the society, which is to have veggies in our garden that are planted by locals. Rather than going to Cape Town and buy veggies, then the veggies will come from the local people that are skilled uh, in our community, you know. So I think this is the opportunity that we need to give to the community within the water hub. This is a soil moisture sensor and it is able to tell us in real time what the moisture level is within about five centimeters of the soil. For us to grow seeds right now during the summertime and to harvest it uh, ultimately by the end of this year, we need to make sure that the soil remains moist and particularly during this first growing season with the seeds that are now in the soil. If we're going to regenerate soil, we should still be looking to how we are using our green waste to improve the soil rather than uh, trying to replow, retill our soil. This is an opportunity to use the waste that is available. Um, so that's the value of this. And of course the soil comes in with quite a big mix with different chemicals and things that come into it and we've got to try and balance it out with the composting and also understand the moisture a lot better as well. So these are compost pits and they are really the most effective because they are easy to work with. And what we do is we layer this with sticks, with uh, grass, with clippings and also with uh, duckweed as well. So different layers like this that help to build the compost. So we've got lots to learn from nature and I've got one more thing I want to show you. So what we have here is an experimental aquaculture site uh, which we are running using uh, treated water that's coming from the biofilters and is feeding to this uh, project here. This is an experimental aquaculture system. So we are using fish 
as we place the fish there, we have to monitor their health, uh, which, which should give us an indication of how clean that water is and also how suitable that water is for aquaculture. And not only that, uh, we're going to measure any compounds that could have been taken up by the fish. A system like this, as you can see, it's a recirculating aquaculture system. So what we are doing is once we treat water, we're recirculating that water. It's very water-saving uh, system and also energy saving. It's not, it's, it doesn't uh, require that much uh, energy and it also uh, has natural purif water purification systems. Everything begins with water. SDG 6, which focuses on water, cleaning water, and improving the discharge of that water and the reuse of that water as much as possible. Essentially, we're going to have to redouble our efforts in trying to target these SDGs. Right now, we are wasting water, we are polluting the rivers, and we are not enabling this water to support a community, to create jobs, and to build social enterprises, which is possible now when we start to clean this water